So, John, you uh, you explained why in the last section of this uh, blog, why you would go over to the English uh, juvenile tournaments. Um, but many people don't know how to do it. Well, how do you get there? What, what's the administration behind it? How, well, oh, you, how, how did you yeah. get into that? How did you find oh, well, out? That, that is, this is, yeah, this is um, something I wish I knew at the start for yeah. any... Of uh, maybe the young players that are watching this uh, v blog to get some tips again and advice the first thing you have to do you can't just all of a sudden go onto the website and enter the competition right like you're yeah. familiar yeah like you thought you, would. you thought you would like in yeah. ireland um but even with our, if you think of irish badminton you have to be registered with badminton ireland true you have to have your number i think it's a five digit number yeah if the, I'm BI right. number. the bi yeah. number so the first thing you have to do is get registered with Badminton England. You have to okay. register. Right. Um, regist similar to Badminton similar Ireland. To Badminton Ireland. Yeah. And registration is, um, it's not that uh, difficult to do once you contact Badminton England. Mm -hmm. And the fee is nominal. It's not too expensive. That's good. And mm -hmm. hopefully there's not too many English um, committee members listening in and they might increase the fee. But it's, um, it's yeah. nominal and it's yeah. good. But it's annual too. So you have to... And keep right. your um, membership active every year. Once you have your membership um, number and you're officially registered, you can then decide um, which um, events to play. But before you decide which events, in England there's a grading system. We have mm -hmm. we have gold, right, silver, and bronze events. Right. Okay. okay. So if you're, so would you have to start at bronze? Pending. This is something you have to assess yourself. Okay. If, if you are fairly new to badminton, haven't been playing it too long, bronze I would recommend. Right. Um, it's, um, there are hundreds, thousands of players playing bronze in England. Right. Um, those perhaps that like to just in, not take their badminton as serious as some of the other players that will play in silver and gold. Yeah. So it's a really good starting point um, if you're not very... Um, say um, used to playing competition so it's, okay. a, it's a good start good start um, for those that are and feel quite good in their game feel their game is at a good standard but perhaps not to where the, they feel the best standard is silver is always a safe bet mm. there's a good standard in silver yeah. um, you'll find there'll be cowboys like we know there's mm. cowboys <laughs> In all tournaments, also the gradings. yeah, gradings. They yeah. they say they're graded D and they could be graded A, and mm -hmm. um, but they're eventually. I think all of those things sort themselves out. But silver is a really good event, mm. um, and again, there are loads of silver competitions in England across all the age categories, and the age categories for the moment range from eleven, under eleven, under thirteen, under fifteen, mm -hmm. under seventeen, and under nineteen. Oh, and then structure. yes, and then eventually become adult. But um, the gold is where a lot of the players who want to really um, test their game out at the highest level. That's mm. the event to try to get into, and you can enter a gold event. Um, Badminton England will decide whether they think um, you're strong enough mm -hmm. based on a little research they will do on the Irish rankings through the Badminton Ireland website. All right. Or my advice sometimes is to send an email to the organisers in Badminton England and tell yeah. them how you're doing in Ireland. Right. They, they will listen, but they'll also do their research too. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the thing that most players who are familiar with English gold will know, they divide the singles into gold star and gold. So right. they strip away the top 16 players and that's a separate singles event. So the top 16 players get moved into a gold star. Gold star, yeah. So these are the absolute... These are the, the absolute, best players the England. best players in England. And yeah. over tournaments, this will establish itself. Yeah. So as they say, one swallow doesn't make a summer, mm -hmm. um, but they will quickly know if a player um, justifies being in star or not. So you have to hold your ranking in star if... if um, and, and that's something else I should mention to you, Mark. Mm. Um, as players um, start competing in England, just like in Ireland, they mm. get a grading. Good, yeah. You know, so if you eventually get to a certain grade, let's say you were grade C as a, ju a juvenile, mm. um, you would be expected to be all gradings below you mm. um, in tournaments. And if you don't, you may slip down in your gold star status or your gold status.
Right. So it's quite a results it's based system. It's very results based. Yeah. yeah. And if you're um, playing in a competition and you're, go, let's say, we'll use the example grade C and you happen to be a grade B and a grade A, yes. on the next update by Badminton England, you will get upgraded to a, to, um, a grade B status based on um, your results. wins. It's not yeah. just maybe just one win against a higher, but maybe one or two wins. Okay. So it's very, very carefully um, uh, um, um, thought through. Um, so you have a gold in the singles. I hope I'm not confusing everyone. A gold, a star, I should say, and a gold in the singles. Right. Two competitions. Yes. Two and separate tournaments. Two separate tournaments. Yeah. And then for the doubles and the mixed, it's all the one standard. Gold. So it's all gold, yeah. which means it includes the star and the gold, but it's just known as gold. Right. Good. Um, so you can say you're playing gold star in in doubles and mixed if you're in there, <laughs> yes. if you want to brag. So if, for example, you started off in bronze, John, and you yeah. happened to win bronze would you uh, would Banton England ask you to go into silver because you've won a bronze or yes or do you uh, would they, you go there yourself they would encourage you straight away if you and, win and then bronze. if you win silver yeah if you win a silver event you, you would you go on to go into the gold absolutely and if you win gold in the singles they'll push you to gold star on the next event provided there's not more higher ranked players mm. um I remember we played a tournament in Milton Keynes, which is the home of um, Babington, English England, English yeah. Babington, which yeah. I've no doubt, Mark, you've played many a time. I have. Yeah. Super Hall. Done very well, this guy. <laughs> and